Okay, don't ever try to give yourself lighting with one of these freaking ridiculous flashlights. God, that hurts. Anyway, I'm just here to tell you guys what I'm up to. Obviously, you see I'm journaling. That's not the right one. Anyway, I'm just journaling a little bit, doing my planner stuff. I'm getting ready to watch some YouTube, do my morning constitutional with the YouTubes where I watch like Sarah Ray Vargas or Vlogus or however... I don't remember how to say it. Um, and uh, Hope Scope, if she's got anything, and my thoughts will probably offend you, which is Michelle McDaniel, if she's got anything, which I think she does, because it's Powerpuff Girls Week. Woo! Anyway, I'm just going to do that, and I figured I would vlog and tell you guys that's what I'm doing, so that you know. So, sorry, Stark, it will get better. It's super dark outside, so, like, I don't know if you can see through the window how, like, no light is coming through. Well, hardly any. It is very overcast. It's, like, 78 degrees and muggy AF. So, you guys can see me get my eye boogies out. Woo, eye boogies. Anyway, I'm tired. I've taken a shower yesterday. I need to take one again today. And... I washed my face, I swear I did, but it feels like no matter how many times I wash my face, my mascara never comes off. So, I'm always rocking that three-day old mascara look. What, what? I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. I'm watching Sarah Ray vlog us. I decided to extend my fast today. Uh, it's 11.35, I haven't eaten yet. I'm okay with that. I'm waiting for my computer to turn on so that I can do my editing. First of all, no, though. Oh, I, I do my work, do my so work. I and I realized, to try and sorry, there. I realized that I have to start vlogging even when I'm just doing my work because that's how vlogs work. And not every day is an interesting day. I'm kind of a boring person. I am a stay at home wife. I am trying to become a certified personal trainer. I have gotten my CPR certification towards that. And I'm working on studying the NASM uh, pre-tests and stuff right now, but it's, uh, it's slow going. So don't forget to hydrate. Uh, just a quick tip. One of the things that I like to do, first of all, I hate tap water. So don't get on me about the bottled water. I know. I know. I am a terrible person. I get it. Cool. Glad we've cleared that up. Um, one thing I do do though, to, to do do, to try to make sure that I uh, get enough water is that I am pretty much constantly setting three to four bottles of water in the places where I'm going to be. Like whether I put the bottle of waters on my desk so that I can edit and have water available to drink or I put it over by my makeup section. I put some up in the bathroom upstairs on my Jack and Jill, no Jack and Jill side. So I put it on my side where I uh, occasionally wash my face and things. And I put several bottles by my bed. I will drink it if it's there. So that's just a tip in case you guys are interested. I'm going to go ahead and finish watching this, uh, my new business venture. I'm super behind on all of the vlogs that I like to catch up on and everything. I was having a little bit of a depressed month uh, where I felt like a real failure and then I kicked myself in the butt and I feel better. So I'm catching up on all my people and I'm vlogging my own thing and I will take you with me to finish loading up the dishwasher and everything and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. So I am cleaning up my kitchen. I figured I would take you guys along. Cool. Okay guys, it's clean. Thanks. Bye.
and see my weirdness and how I vlog, uh, not just vlog, but like plan my life. Everything I'm planning. <laughs> That's what I've been doing today is getting my week planned out. So I look forward to talking to you guys about it. Bye. And um, I'm just going to use that to buy gift cards and then I'm going to give them to you guys. But I don't have gift cards yet, so just stay tuned on that one. Um, I'll order the gift cards soon and I will get them back to you basically. So we'll do like a little giveaway in one of the videos. But what was I going to say? I, I was editing and I edited out this whole chunk from the other day where I was talking about like finances and stuff. Uh, because it's been brought up a few times and, um, you know, I guess from now on maybe I will just... I'll, I'll try harder to ignore negative stuff, but this was less negative and I think more of just a misunderstanding. Um, so I just wanted to talk about it without it, I don't know. The other, when I filmed it the other day, it was like choppy and someone walked in and it was just a whole thing, but, um, what was I going to say? But someone, um, brought up that they have, uh, issues, it's, it's come up a few times, but that they had issues with when I talk about money, uh, like how much things cost or whether or not I can afford something. And I thought it would be interesting. I don't know if it, how relatable it is, to be honest with you. Uh, but it's something that I've gone through because you guys know, like, I didn't have money for a long time. And, um, you know, we needed different kinds of aid and stuff once we had the kids. And, um, and I've obviously, like, over the years, I have slowly but surely, and then the last couple years more rapidly, um, like, at a... I would say like a non-traditional rapid pace, I've been able to make more money. Um, but it's so weird because when you don't have it, like I was embarrassed about not having money all my life. Like that was an embarrassing thing for me. That was something that I was really self-conscious about, um, especially when other people in my life, you know, friends and stuff like that, like they, they didn't have the same struggles that my family had. And then once it stopped being like my family struggles and it became my struggle as I, you know, kind of went into adulthood and my later teens and my early 20s and when I became a parent um, and then my family struggle became my struggle and my unit's struggle, um, I was super embarrassed. I was super, um, you know, I felt like I was taking handouts and I mentioned this in that assumptions video that I did on my other channel, but I felt like I was taking handouts and it really hurt my pride because money has always been such like a pride issue for me. I mean, I, I try not to be prideful. Like, that's not a good thing to be. So, I um, I have a deep-rooted insecurity in not having money and not being able to afford things. And so, I think it's kind of just me working through it when I mention stuff. I'm still insecure about it. I I'm, have more money now, but um, again, like I mentioned in that video, it still feels like fake to me almost. Like, I don't have this life for real. And, like, I'm just one step away from being back where I was. And, um, and it, I'm, like, I'm literally, I'm, like, new money. Like, I'm just trying to get used to the idea that I don't have to financially struggle because it's all I've known for so long. And I realize it's probably annoying to some people when I mention prices or I mention the price of something, how I feel about the price, whether I think it's a lot or a little, and then whether or not I think I could pay for it anyway. Um, and that's really just me trying to be more confident, I guess, in myself in, in a financial way. I think it's easy to understand when you think of like the body confidence, where let's say someone posts a photo and they say, um, you know, they, they post a photo, they say, uh, maybe I'm here it's laundry them. time. While I'm waiting for some of my videos through Google Drive to process, I'll take you with me for my laundry process. E, please don't fall over camera. Okay, first thing we'll tell you about Sarah's laundry room is that the lights have been burned out for a long time. So instead of fixing that, I just, uh, my short self just put a lamp in here. Uh, all right. Come on, come on. Ooh, you are not wanting to stay. Try, try for me. Uh, so there's already some kitchen towels and stuff in here. So what I like to do is I have blankets that are specifically for the living room. Uh, there's a blanket that goes on the back of the couch. There's a blanket that goes on the chaise lounge. There is a blanket that gets swapped around for whoever needs it. And there are dog blankets. <laughs> the the way that this gets switched around is that because we have to share it all, you know, we're a family. So the way that this all gets switched around is once I'm done 
with the blankets on the back of the couch for the week, I swap the dog's blankets with those blankets. I will put the dog's blankets in through the washer and then hang them out in the sunshine and those will become the couch blankets for next week. And then there's current blankets on the couch and then there's the dog blankets which were last week's couch blankets. That's how I do it. It helps with my dog's anxiety. It uh, is a process, you know, it helps cut down on dust. But I have a lot of like drying mats and, and towels and blankets and stuff that I needed to get washed today. So you're with me. Hot and heavy. Okay. Hey. Let's see. I need to clean up my makeup table, but you know what? I'm not dealing with it right now. It's fine. I don't need to deal with it right now. need to eat, but I might make myself another coffee. I don't even know the menu you have an issue with this, but I've seen it so many times over the years as I've kind of been trying to get to the point where I don't have to feel like I'm insecure about money. Um, but I'm not Sarah's talking about some hard subjects today, y'all. Let's see if I can get you less janky. Why are you so janky? It's about 12 ounces. Reusable straws are very important. Perfect. Oh, that's so good. As you guys are here, you can see my collection of cups. It's quite vast. Yeah, I see you. I definitely try to keep myself from using reusable things as much as possible since I know that I do do the reusable bottles. Do do. Huh? keep doing that that's fine um, but yeah so I'm doing my best even though I know the reusable bottles needs to change I'm working on it we will figure it out Blah. all right I'll talk to you guys later I gotta download this information so that I can continue filming as you can see I have a lurker over here who sees that I have trash that has good food in it and he wants it go lay down I am just frying up some beef right now. I uh, par cooked the shrimp and vegetables. I'm gonna fry up the beef and then finish everything all together. I'll bring you back once that's happening. I'll go ahead and season this side too. So, so cold. Cat scared still. So. Uh, this wasn't very well cut up before it was cooked, and I just prefer to cut it after anyway, so it's fine with me, I don't care. Mmm, smells good though. Just needed to get that into a little bit smaller bit. Bless you! Cut a little longer. And I will plate it up and get my husband's reaction. I'm fasting, so talk to you guys later.
guys. I'm the best at remembering to actually film an outro. So a couple days later, hi, editing future Sarah here. I want to say hi and thank you all so much for liking, commenting, subscribing. I just love hearing from you guys. I love growing our community and there's definitely going to be more to come. I appreciate your sponsorship of me with your likes and I will talk to you in the next vlog. Bye.